Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is my complete tutorial on the metronome in Cakewalk. The metronome section is made up of three icons. Click on the metronome on play icon to turn the metronome during playback function on or off. When turned on, the metronome will start bleeping every time you play your song. Usually, I recommend setting this to off. Click on the metronome on recording icon to turn the metronome during recording function on or off. When turned on, the metronome will start bleeping every time you start recording. Usually, I recommend setting this to on until you have a drum or percussion track recorded. Click on the metronome settings icon to open the preferences window with the metronome section selected. You can also click on the tick box next to playback to turn the metronome during playback function on or off. Or click on the tick box next to recording to turn the metronome during recording function on or off. The most important function of the metronome though is probably to give you a countdown to let you know when recording is about to begin. And this is called a count in. The count in is also not affected by whether the playback or recording functions are turned on or off. Here the count in is set to zero, so the count in is currently turned off. Click on the plus icon to set the count in to 1. Now the count in is turned on. Now click on the count in drop list. Then click on beats. The count in will now be one beat long, so the metronome will beep one time before recording starts. Click on the count in drop list again. Then click on measures. The count in will now be one bar measure long. The time signature for this song is 4 over 4. So a bar measure in this song is 4 beats long. So now the metronome will beep 4 times before recording starts. Beep subdivision lets you change the timing of the beeps. Beep subdivision is currently set to 1, so the metronome beeps once on every beat. Click on the beat subdivision drop list. And then click on 1 over 2. The metronome will now beep every half a beat. This can be useful if your drums are played at double time. Usually though, this is set to 1. Next up, we have the metronome instrument itself. 
A metronome usually plays a different sound on the first beep of a bar measure. Click on the first beep drop list. And click on closed hi-hat 1 to change the sound from a ping to a closed hi-hat tap. Click on the Other Beats drop list. And click on Pedal Hat to change the sound of the rest of the metronome beeps from a ping to a hi-hat pedal tap. Click on the plus or minus icons next to the first beat dB text box to change the volume of the first beep. Click on the plus or minus icons next to the other beats dB text box to change the volume of the other beats. Usually the first beep is slightly louder than the rest. The output drop list sets which stereo bus the metronome sound is sent to, and usually this is best left set to the metronome bus. The last section can be used to trigger an alternative metronome sound from an external MIDI sound module, or MIDI synth, using MIDI notes to trigger the sounds. Click on the toggle button next to the words Use MIDI Note to select an external MIDI device for the metronome. You can then either type a note key name into the first beat box text box and the other beats key text box, or click on the key text box and then press a key on the external MIDI device. The key will be automatically detected. The velocity text box set how loud the beeps will be. Click on the channel text box and type in the MIDI channel for the external device. The duration text box sets how long each beep will be. Port should be set to the port of the external MIDI device. So click on the project's MIDI tab. The port number and the external MIDI device name is shown in the MIDI sync output ports section. Here I have a trick to loop it back to a virtual instrument by using the free Loop MIDI app. Now make a note of the port number, then click on the Project Metronome tab. Then click on the Port text box. Then type in the port number. To set the metronome back to the Cakewalk metronome instrument, click on the toggle button next to the words Use Audio Metronome. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!